Believe it or not, but this was generated with AI. And so was this, and this, and even this graphic right here. So what you just saw was created with the new updated version of Ideogram. This is a free AI art generator that you can use commercially. It gets some amazing results, and especially long phrases of text can be super, super accurate. So if you head to Ideogram's website right now and click into the prompt bar up here, you should see the new model called 1.0. Additionally, we also get a magic prompt setting. When you have this turned on, then Ideogram is going to use your prompt as a guide for generating four further prompts that are more detailed, kind of like DALI 3 in chat GPT. So this is great if you only want to stick to very short prompts and let Ideogram do the creative work. In that case, you want to turn this on. If you want to have more control over your prompt and the output, then turn magic prompt off. And I'm going to show you what the difference looks like. I've actually prepared a prompt right here, a cartoon t-shirt, of a grumpy cat that says I hate morning people and mornings and people on a white background. And this is quite a lot of text, which usually is challenging for any AI tool, even Mid Journey, DALI 3 and previously Ideogram. But now I'm quite confident that we can get this sentence right. Uh, we might need a couple of tries, but um, here we go. Let's try this with magic prompt off. Generate this and see what we get. So here we go. This is a good set of results. We've got I hate morning people and mornings and people on the left. This is all pretty much spelled correctly. There's a few extra dots right here. Um, but yeah, besides that, actually really accurate result. Again, the dots are not the right amount, but that is easily fixed. And the words actually look like they've just been typed out by a person. Like there's no traces of AI right there in terms of the text. Some of these other ones are not perfect. Like we've got two eyes and the last one also with mornings to eyes in that bit. And here's another result that actually looks really, really neat. I like this rounded font as well. And the cat does look very grumpy. That's a great graphic. And I can see that working on a t-shirt for sure. So let's try that same prompt again, but turn magic prompt on hit generate. By the way, whilst this is generating, also take a look at the explore page. And if you see any styles that you like the look of, just click on like that will save it to your profile. And then you can you know, take a peek at the prompts after see if you can amend them and use them for your own designs. And you will notice that a lot of these graphics right here have very accurate text. Some like look like very good logos as well. Maritime radio, that looks amazing. Scroll through, look for styles that are similar to whatever you want to design. Save these with the like button or take a quick peek at the prompt. If you click into these, you will essentially see the original prompt that people used as well as the magic prompt if one was applied. And you can see the model. In this case, it is idiot. 1.0 and again this graphic looks really really good ideogram was not able to do that when i last used it so they've improved massively but scrolling back to the top what have we got now as you can see it does look quite a lot different than our previous results so there is a bit more creativity and different styles gone into these results instead the first one right here is quite simplistic almost correct there's two ends unfortunately but besides that you know, a simple, plain graphic it looks quite cool. Then we've got this right here. I hate morning people, people. Okay, that's completely messed up. Then I like this version with the cat actually holding up a sign. That's a cool idea. And in terms of the spelling, that all seems correct as well. Not a bad result, actually. And here we've got some more color. I'm also not sure what this second tail is doing there. And the text has kind of been spread all over the place. It's, we've got it on the back of the cat and at the bottom. Um, but you know, it's interesting to see this in some different new styles. So it's definitely worth trying out magic prompt on and off because you can get decent results with both. It's just that if it's off, you have a bit more control over what you get in the end. So here are a few more prompts that I got some decent results with. If you want to copy them yourself, here you've got a vector t-shirt design of a frog in cottagecore style with the text, frog off, I'm busy, isolated on a white background. Some of these look pretty, pretty cool in the result and very easy to remove the background. Then we've got a rabicorn. This is meant to be a mixture between a rabbit and a unicorn. It says vector t-shirt design of a unicorn dressed as Easter rabbit with the text rabicorn isolated on a white background. Right here, as you can see, some of these are magic prompts. That's actually because I had auto selected. So, you know, in this case, um, just a few of them were turned into longer prompts. Some of the simple prompts also turned out great. Yeah, this is something you can utilize. The unicorns don't look as closely to rabbits as I would like them to, but you know, the overall style is quite neat for Easter. 
Then in this case right here, I actually reused a very old prompt from my previous ideogram video, a plain white bear silhouette with white text. The result looks amazing, like Papa Bear, the text is perfect. The silhouette also very, very impressive, very easy to remove the background. The result's definitely better what I got back in the day. And here's another version with a magic prompt actually, but I also love this result. The style of the bear looks amazing and the text once again with like a subtle texture effect, really great result. But sometimes the magic prompt will make it like quite unusable, at least for print and demand. That's something they that definitely need to bear in mind. Now this one just impressed me through the roof. It's actually a prompt that I found on the explore page. And I couldn't believe that this much text was actually accurately put out. So um, the prompt is an infographic about different types of coffee. It's titled the most famous types of coffee. So the title at the top is almost correct. There's no off, but I guess it still works. Then infographic shows different types of coffee drinks, each with its own illustration and ingredients. The drinks are arranged in two rows. And then we've got Americano, espresso, mocha, cappuccino. That's the first row. And literally all of these are spelled correctly. Um, I don't know if like the drinks are perfect representations what they're meant to look like but the fact that the layout is so so exact and exactly that the prompt says it is just mind-blowing and then the second row we've got espresso con panna caramel macchiato and then chocolate vanilla right here so espresso con panna espresso again i guess that one is kind of wrong we've got espresso twice but then caramel macchiato that has two eyes that's the only spelling mistake in this entire poster and we missed the word off but the double eye the only thing that went wrong um, and then we've got chocolate vanilla at the end so this layout is mind-blowing this would be perfect for a poster for a postcard many many things in print on demand and my mind is just spinning with ideas of, of what you could do with this sort of prompt and how you could amend it and create some really cool designs more easily yeah obviously you can still fix some of this stuff if there's spelling mistakes swap out the old graphics um, but just to get this far with AI is absolutely mind-blowing some of the other results are not as accurate or perfect or they have some like random scribble underneath mostly the results are way better than I would have thought we'll ever see AI get. Then we've got a fairly simple sort of vintage sunset prompt right here that you could utilize for many different niches and t-shirt designs. So this one is vintage sunset t-shirt design of a motorbike, white background, and text that says best biker dad ever. And all of these results are pretty neat. All of the texts are spelled correctly and they're all usable for POD. And then this right here, I thought was a really cool style and it gets some amazing results. I've got magic prompt on in this case. That's why the text is kind of slightly different, but especially this result looks amazing. So you can see the original prompt right here um, if you want to utilize it, or obviously if you want a very similar style, you could also copy this magic prompt that came out. And lastly, quick tip all of the things that you like in the explore page will be found right here so if you click on your liked tab then you know you will have a lot of inspiration uh, this is one i just found a few minutes ago very very simple graphic um, but this could be cool for a sticker perhaps so the prompt is a bold and creative design of cute panda uh, jim holding barbell cartoon graphic text says installing muscle and some of the other ones right here yeah that one's pretty cool as well but yeah now essentially the idea is that anything that you've liked right here and saved to your profile you could you know click into it if you like the graphic you could copy the prompt like this then paste it in at the top and then let's say we don't don't want a golden doodle but we want a labrador instead and instead of summer vibes maybe we'll do what if we do cruise vibes i wonder what it comes up with there because that seems like a, a complicated combination but if we wanted to make a cruise design with a labrador and uh, that might be interesting so let's hit generate i'll also um, turn magic prompt on so we can kind of see the difference right there and have two sets created at the same time so here we go this is the first set with uh, magic prompt turned off and these are okay but they're not you know they're not blowing me away to be honest and then the second result with magic prompt turned on to be honest these are slightly better cruise vibes um labrador we didn't want it to say labrador necessarily but yes yeah, some of these graphics do look a bit more interesting than what we had previously okay so we've got a boat in this as well and uh, that's not bad so it's it's trying it's trying it's, it's better than i expected with this result it's a trial and error process so go through your liked stuff amend some of the prompts and just keep going if you want to download some of your generated graphics you can actually just click and drag and it will sort of pull a box over the images that you want to you know access so you could highlight different things like this 
And then once you're ready, just hit download at the bottom. And then if you have multiple images that you need to upscale to increase the quality, one free option that you have is dgb.lol. This has a tools section over here. If we click into that and then select the AI image upscaler, the cool thing about DGB is that first of all, for free, you can actually bulk upscale up to 20 files at the same time. I'm going to use five in my example, but it does work um, with up to 20. And you've also got access to a lot of different models. So we've got um, the normal detailed and balanced options right here. These are all 4X models, so they increase your quality by 400%. We also have at the bottom 6X and 8X upscalers, which is massive. There's no free upscalers that offer that much quality. So for t-shirt design, 6X tends to be good enough. So we could choose the EGB LOL Sharp right here, 6X upscaler and hit submit. That's going to add the task to our queue. You can find that in the My Files section. This is going to take a few minutes for the files to be uploaded to the queue and then upscaled by DGB. Uh, whilst you wait, you can create some other designs, uh, do some niche research, whatever you want. It does sometimes take a few minutes, but I think it's totally worth it considering DGB is totally free. There are some ads on the site, but you can just ignore those. And the quality that the upscaler brings back is also really, really good and competitive, even like if you compare it to some of the paid tools out there. And there we go, a couple of minutes later, now all of these have finished. You might need to hit refresh in your case to get the updated view and then you can download them individually with this button or you can click this purple button to download the entire list at once as a bulk download saving you a bit of extra time and then what we can do next in order to remove the background and prepare our files for a potential t-shirt design is use photo p this is a free photoshop alternative which will be linked in the description along with dgb and ideogram as well of course all you have to do right here is click on new project copy my settings for the width height and dpi and then click create and now you can drag and drop your upscaled graphic into this field right here kind of resize it and move it around a bit to aim it towards the top half of the screen that would be sort of a chest print when we think of t-shirt designs and now you've got a couple of options for removing the background the first one would be whilst having this right here selected our image you can head up to select and click remove BG. That is going to automatically analyze this image and take out the background. That's done a fairly good job. If I hold down Alt and scroll into this image, it's not taking out some of the white out the letters, um, but we could still fix that with the mask settings. Alternatively, if um, this feature doesn't work very well, I'll just hit Control Z to undo that step. You can also use the magic wand. That tends to get some decent results. So if we use this, make sure you've got contiguous turned off and then the tolerance set to about 50. What this does is essentially whichever color we click on is going to select that color in, in the entire image. So if we click on white, it will select it everywhere, including inside of the letters. And now um, what we need to do next is go to select inverse, and then we can head down to the bottom of the layer panel click add raster mask. Now it's masked out all of that background color very, very effectively. And you can still make adjustments whilst you have this mask selected. Let's say we want to get rid of these lines. I could use the brush tool over here. And then whilst having black selected as our color right here, I can then increase the brush size with the closing bracket on my keyboard and draw over these lines. And now I'm holding down space to move around, do the same on the other side. There we go. Um, that's tidied that up a little bit. And the same way, if you, if you flip this around to white, that's going to repaint stuff in. So there we go, we can see the white again, which we don't really want, that's just for demonstration purposes. But there you go, this is a quick way to prepare your files. Now it's literally ready for print, it's high quality, it's had the background removed, and it's in the right format, in the right dimensions, or t-shirt designs in general. So now we can go to File, Export as PNG, and we can give this a relevant name, like uh, maybe Frog Off, <laughs> and then save this. That'll be downloading it to your device, and then you can move on to the next design. Uh, pull it into here and repeat those steps. If you want to increase your print on demand sales in 2024, make sure to check out this video next, where I share 35 very important lessons.